Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and I promised this tutorial on my Discord. It's the tutorial where I teach you guys how you can make and use the light spot effect in Open Dunes. And we're gonna start right now. If you guys are new to Open Tunes or you don't know a lot about it, I make a lot of tutorials about this, so definitely click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see my newest tutorials right when they come out. Also, you can check out the rest of my videos where I have a lot of beginner tutorials as well as tutorials exploring various features of OpenTune, so make sure not to miss that. This tutorial is going to be rather quick be simply because I have to get to working out on Castle Dark, which is my short film, the website link in the description, and I'm just going to get started. So we're going to go over, you're going to go over to the animation tab right here. You're going to go down to the effects schematic, and if your effects schematic doesn't look like this, then you're going to click this little window right here. Usually, I think by default it says table and you see all these thingies. Um, you see all these things here. So you're going to click this little thing in the bottom right corner. It says toggle effect stage schematic um, when you put your mouse on it. And then it'll take you, it'll take you here. So what I want to do is I want to create a light um, that's going to come out of this um, this window right here. You see where this bottle is? I want to create a light coming through there. And perhaps also I'll create like a, a, matte, a matte effect so the bottle and the book and the shelf and along with these bars block out the light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the effect schematic, I'm going to right click, add effects, light, light spot. This is this is my favorite effect simply because of just how useful it is and also how beautiful it looks. Um, if you've ever if you ever watched the show Amazing World of Gumball, the show can be the show can be praised for just the beautiful effects that it uses, and that's what this light spot effect reminds me of. I always think about that show simply because it had very complex lighting and um, shading and reflectivity. Um, the production value was really big, and I start thinking about that when I look at the lighting effect. That, that's how good this thing is, at least to me. All right, so when, if you want to see the effects of the light spot, as you can see, it creates this little box, this bounding box. You can um, use the edit. I think this is called the editing tool, animate tool, and you can um, drag it around and resize it. So I'm going to make it about like a little bit smaller than the window. <clears throat> if you want to see the box's effect, you have to click this eye here to render. Okay, so that is a horrible looking light and I don't want it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go over to the light spot. And I'm going to hit this, turn it to white because I want the lighting to be white. So I apologize if nothing popped up just then. Um, I realized that I wasn't recording in um, my desktop capture mode, which allows everything to come up on screen because when I, if I record in window capture, then the pop-up windows on OpenTunes will show up. So you go to light spot, you double click it, and this little box will show up. Um, it defaults as a very... Um, unattractive purple color, and I drag, I double clicked the color um, square right here, and I dragged it to white. That's what I did. So um, this is a very unattractive color. Um, I'm gonna explain more of this later, but I'm gonna change the softness. I'm gonna put it down to one. Um, it seems that when you change that, it actually makes it a little more soft, or it just spreads out the light, which I want, which is what I'm gonna choose. So after that, to make this light look less um, hideous, we're gonna Right click it, we're gonna go to insert effects, go to light and then glow. Now, as you can see, glow is really the star of the show here. That makes it already look 10 times more realistic. So we're gonna go back into this and we're gonna click off the effect and then click back on it. I think you have to, hold on, let's see. I wanna get the bounding box back. Sometimes it just doesn't show up and that's kind of annoying. Yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna make this a little flatter like that, wider. Let's see how that looks. So it, it looks exactly like how how you'd expect it. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna adjust the shape to where I want it. That's not really it, a little smaller. I think that's probably gonna have to do it. Something like this, a little more, or we can just turn down the glow. So you go to the, you double click on the glow and I'm gonna hit brightness, I'm gonna turn to 50, see how that looks. So that's better. I don't like how you can still kind of see the circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to how do I get this thing to show up again? Um, let's see. Oh, you just got to you got to click on the on the layer in the effect schematic. That's what you got to do. So maybe you make it smaller like this. That looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna keep it like that, so I don't I don't mess it up because that's that's the way I want it. Go to glow. We're at 50 right now. Let me try 25. Okay, 25 looks really really good. Let me try making this bigger as as a 25, so that doesn't look very good at all. So that's pretty much how you'd use the glow effect. And if you want um, the light to be 
brighter you simply just go to brightness increase it put it you can put it back to 100 to me that doesn't look that great so i'm going to leave it at um let's try 30. yeah so you can see the, the real effects it really really makes it look shiny i'm gonna see i'm gonna take it off and you're gonna see the difference let's take it off right here yeah so it already makes the whole scene look very very good and i'm gonna go actually go back i'm gonna put the softness back at two because i like i like this part being a little a little darker and i might have to add a add a shadow or something like that yeah so i don't want it to spread out too much and i might even put a mat on the light so it doesn't spread into the inside of this um crate right here and i might make that crate purposefully darker but that's all the stuff that i have to do on my own sadly i won't be able to be able to do it in this video simply because i don't have time guys um i'm really on a rush to finish castle dark it's coming out february 1st on youtube so be there um with that said guys Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about this video, be sure to follow the link into my description and join my Discord server. There I can actually help you use OpenTunes. If you guys leave it, just leave a comment. There's not a lot I can do. So definitely join my Discord server in the description below. And I hopefully I'll be coming out with more tutorials this week. I want to do like a tutorial mad dash this week. We'll see how it goes. With that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.